Uh, let's talk to um, Randy in Georgia. Randy, thanks for holding. Hi, um, Alex. Um, I actually spoke with you on the 1st of August, and I called in because the Census Bureau came by my house, and um, they were trying to have me take a survey. And um, they actually came again on the 8th um, of August and were trying to get me to, ha to take the survey again. And my husband called the actual regional office. And the, the, the supervisor, he, she, he, she, I mean, I'm sorry, that he spoke with, um, said that there were 33 different divisions in the Census Bureau. And, you know, which one, do you, which one are you calling about? He's talking about, I'm talking about the, um, the housing survey. And... Um, and my husband, he was like, well, my wife spoke um, to Karen on the phone and face-to-face -face twice. And she said that, you know, we don't want to participate. Well, she tried to glorify the survey and say, well, it's for the president. And this will be your opportunity to voice your opinion. And my husband, um, he was like, well, I understand that. I know how to voice my opinion if need be. And I don't understand what my plumbing and how many toilets and the characteristic um, of the household has to do with this. And she was saying, well, it's for the people that, you know, the foreclosed homes or the, um, the subprime mortgages. Right, Ma'am, let me just stop you. I mean, this is like saying a woman wants to come in my house and uh, eat food out of my refrigerator and she won't go away. Uh, and this is how... You're awake if you just question this. No, 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 no. You're awake if you don't open the door or debate or discuss anything with these people. And we're so nice as a nation. We put up with anything. Do you know what census forms, uh, where they go at my house? They go in the trash can and the door isn't opened. And if someone bangs on it, I don't open it. I say, get off my front porch. And if they knock again, I open it. I say, did you hear me? I'm calling the police. I'm not talking to you. I'm not your slave. Now get off my property now! It is, and I appreciate your call, ma'am. It is because, or she may have had more to add, but I just can't hear this anymore. See, it's so alien to people to have any freedom. It's so alien. Ladies and gentlemen, all they can ask you is how many people live here under the Constitution for congressional apportionment to decide how many members of the House of Representatives your state gets. You get two senators per state, and then for states that have larger populations to make it fair, they get the most members of the House. That's it. And I told people 12 years ago, I said, you're letting them give you these 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, it varied. They were testing questionnaires, and they admitted in 2000, 11 years ago, that they were going to start yearly and then monthly surveys. And now I get calls every day, on air, off air. My neighbors are talking about it. People are now getting monthly visits, and they keep banging, and they say it's the law You've got to fill out monthly stuff. You've got to let me in. I need to know about your stocks and bonds, your firearms, your toilet. It, it's the Fifth Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. This is not North Korea. And, and, and ma'am, if I sound a little rude to you, I apologize. I, our country's sinking. We're going into a depression. They're killing the dollar. I'm freaked out. I'm nothing special, but I'm not a slave. I'm angry. And I hear your sweet, nice voice and about you calling scumbags at the uh, Census Bureau and them giving you a line of bull. And about these people coming to your door who won't quit coming. And, and I, I, I get angry. And, and I couldn't hear your sweet voice anymore. And think about these people praying on you. And folks, it's praying on you with them up there with their GPS marking your doorway. And coming back over and over again. And I conjure up in my mind the image of that zit face. Nothing against folks that have acne. I'm sure I had some when I was a teenager. But this guy had pizza face. And he keeps banging. And my wife had told me, girlfriend at the time, we got married a few months later. But this is back in 2000. She had told me, I told the story 50 times. I got a videotape of it here somewhere. I never aired it. And um, 
She goes, that's the guy that came two days ago. He says, we've got to fill out the whole form. And then I'd been nice. I'd filled out two people live here. That's it. That's the law. You notice they have the U.S. code under those two questions. You know, they say, it's the law. you got to fill this out. And there's like the part that's the law and all the rest of it. It's all a con, all a scam by con artists, a world run by con artists that just by increment get us to put up with more and more. Now you got to fill out 50 questions. Oh, it's 10 years later. Now we're coming yearly. Now we're coming monthly. Well, tell us about your firearms. They're going around in Austin demanding to be led in businesses. I am empowered by the Census Bureau. I will come into your business. No, you little creature. You will not. It's federal zoning boards. That's all in the carbon tax law. The, the, these home inspections by little greeny commissars. You know, when we get really busy sometimes, we'll, we'll get a maid service, you know, folks that come in a couple days a week to wash clothes and stuff. I got three children and... A lot of these services will say, will say, well, don't wash the blacks with the whites. It, it's ruining our clothes. They go, but environmentally, it's better and, and uses less water. Genetic engineering is the problem. Splicing animals and humans, that's what can hurt the earth. Don't come in here with your environmental cult garbage with me. Don't get up on your high horse here. It's all getting them ready to come in our houses, run our lives. It's already happening. The green police. People being arrested for light bulbs in the wrong toilet. These people aren't playing games. And you've got all these miscreants who won't get a job in the free market because the free market's almost gone. And I didn't know Obama destroying it. He's just a puppet. It's the big banks that own the Republicans and the Democrats. It's a scientific takeover program to, redu to reduce us to dependent slaves. Serfs! And it's so diabolical. And I know as it gets worse and worse... Here's this guy out in the door, and I go, what are you doing? And he goes, it's the law. You're going to fill this out. And he was about a half foot taller than me. He thought that that and his zit scared me. And he had this plastic badge, and he said, you see this? I'm from the Census Bureau. And I said, you listen to me, and you listen good. I have a Fifth Amendment. I don't have to answer your questions. You're here fraudulently. Now get off my property. He kind of bucked up, and I said, I told you, get the you-know-what out of here. And I followed him off the road, and that little arrogant psychopath was parked in the middle of the road. The middle, like he was supreme emperor of the galaxy. All right, I, I, I just can't handle it anymore. You see, people think it's weird that I'm upset by this. Government people that are going to come to your house monthly? I've seen reports where people kicked them out of their house, and they send a SWAT team to the people's house and kill them. You can just type in. In fact, people won't believe it. They'll forget. There have been three or four cases I've seen. A uh, woman kicks. Woman says no to census workers. SWAT team. Woman dies after throwing out census workers. I think one of them was in Houston. And I, whatever then. Whatever. Kill me, you scum. I'm sick of you. I don't want to bow down and be your slave. I don't want to lick your boots anymore. I'm done. I'm done with all of you. All you idiot scum slaves that love being slaves. Just just you are so the opposite of freedom. You people are pathetic. You 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 mainline idiots that I know tune in to this show. You're gonna get hurt so bad by what you've let out of the box. And and then and then how no matter how bad it gets, you've always got new excuses for why you're doing it. God, listening to that woman. Listening to that woman. I just can't handle it anymore. How nice and sweet she is to those people. And that she's the type that they'll SWAT team when you're nice to the scum. I'm so angry I could just crush my teeth off in a rage. I mean, I just, just it's always those nice ones that they're going to get. They're going to prey on. They just love it. Stop being nice. Stop being accommodating. Stop. Get rid of this southern uh, hospitality. Southern hospitality is for your neighbors, not for a bunch of scum. My whole life, I've watched my family, who are good people, be nice to scum because they're, they're gentlemen. And it's, it is a certain time for a gentleman to stop being a gentleman. You understand that? When people try to make you their slaves, then it is an affront to this species and our children and everything good.